Dear students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So, in previous session, we have started incentive plan and we have already completed two types of incentive plan. First one that is Merrick's differential piece rate system. Number two that is Taylor's differential piece rate system. And we have already completed the difference between Merrick's piece rate system and Taylor's piece rate system. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss about Holse incentive plan, number two that is Rowan's plan and number three that is Emerson's efficiency plan. It is the types of incentives plan. Okay, so let's start the lecture, lecture number 22 that related to incentive plans. So now the first and important question that is Holse incentive plan. First one that is Merrick's in incentive plan. Number two that is Taylor's differential piece rate system. Okay, that system that related to hourly rate system. Okay, but in this particular plan, certain minimum base wage, certain minimum base wage is guaranteed to the worker, is guaranteed to the worker. The standard time is fixed for the performance of each job. For example, there is one nut and that is having 2 minutes for standard time. Okay. If worker completed within a 1 minute, so he or she can get extra bonus, extra bonus for that particular job. Okay. So, this is what wholesale incentive plan. Okay. The standard time, standard time, it is very important. The time is fixed for the performance of the job. Number two, that is if a worker complete the job before the standard time, he gets guaranteed wage plus incentive bonus at fixed percentage. So, now the question is what is fixed percentage? So, here the fixed percentage is 50. Hence, this plan is also called as 50-50 wholesale premium plan. Okay. So, now the question is what do you understand by 50-50 wholesale incentive plan? So, here the equation is given for wholesale incentive plan total wage that is is equal to capital T multiplied by capital R plus 50 percent in bracket S minus T bracket complete multiplied by R. Okay. So, now what do you understand by capital T, capital R and 50 percentage? Okay. So, capital T that is actual time, actual time taken by the worker. Okay. For example, standard time that is 2 minute and actual time that is 1 minute. So, capital T is equal to 1 minute. Capital R that is is equal to hourly rate of wage. Okay. So, R is common. Okay. Hourly rate of wage and S. Capital S that is is equal to standard time for the job. Standard time for the job that is 2 minute. Okay. And worker completed within 1 minute. So, capital T is equal to 1 minute and a capital S is equal to 2 minutes. Put all the value in step number 4 and you will get wholesale incentive plan. You will get total wage, total wage for the worker. So, this is what wholesale incentive plan. Total wage is equal to capital T multiplied by R plus 50 percent in bracket S minus T multiplied by R. Here, fixed percentage that is 50. Okay. So, this is what wholesale incentive plan. So, move forward to next one that is Rowan's plan. So, now first of all, what do you understand by Rowan's plan? Okay. So, here I have attached one table so that you can directly understand Rowan's plan concept. Okay. So, in Rowan's plan, in this particular plan, this is also guaranteed minimum wages to the worker. Okay. This is very common and very basic. Okay. So, now the question is what is the difference between uh, wholesale incentive plan and Rowan's plan. So, in wholesale incentive plan, pay 50% of hourly wage saved by the worker directly. While in this particular plan, the proportion of the time payable for incentive is the ratio of actual time taken by taken to the standard time. Okay. So, actual time divided by standard time. This is called uh, Rowan's incentive, Rowan's plan. Okay. So, now what is the equation for calculating the total wage for row and span? So, here I have added earning under this scheme are 
bonus that is is equal to capital T by S in bracket S minus T into R. Okay, so now total earning, total wage is equal to capital R multiplied by capital T plus S minus T by S into R into T. Okay, so now the question is what do you understand by T, what do you understand by R and what do you understand by S? Okay, so capital T that is is equal to actual time, capital T that is is equal to actual time taken by the worker. Number two that is R, capital R that is hourly rate of wage that is constant and number three that is capital S, capital S that is equal to standard time for the job. Okay, so now take, let's take one example that standard time is equal to two minute and actual time that is one minute. Okay, so capital T that is one minute and capital S that is two minute. Put all the value in earning equation, you will get the total wages. Okay, so Rowan's plan is very important. In wholesale plan, 50% that is fixed. But in this particular plan, it is the ratio of actual time to the standard. Okay, so this is what the difference between Rowan's plan and Merrick's, sorry, wholesale incentive plan. Okay, so move forward to next one that is Immersion's Efficiency Plan. So now the question is what do you understand by Immersion's Efficiency Plan? So here I have added five different columns so that you can directly understand Immersion's Efficiency Plan. So in first column it is depend on efficiency range. Number two that, that is exact efficiency. Number three that is wages or basic, basic wage paid. Fourth one that is incentives and fifth one that is extra incentive. So there are five different columns I have added here. First one that is efficiency range. So first of all below 66.67% below 66.67% or up to 66.67% efficiency the worker will get fixed rate or you can take wages paid to the worker that is fixed incentive that is nil and no extra incentives will be given to work okay so this is what immersion's efficiency plan level number one level number one that related to up to 66.67 percent wages paid to worker that is fixed rate incentive that is nil and no extra incentives will be given to the worker okay so in level number two level number two the range is 66.68 to 100%. Okay, 66.68 to 100%. So, exit efficiency is for example 90%. So, the worker will get fixed rate. Fixed rate in bracket you can take wages paid. 10% of hourly rate because ultimately level num it is level number 2. 10% of hourly rate it is incentives. And there is no extra incentives. Okay, there is no extra in incentive. Okay, this is what level number two. Level number two ranges between 66.68 to 100%. For example, let's take one example that is 90%. So fixed rate plus 10% of hourly rate. So now move forward to third one that is 100%. Exit 100%. Okay, so efficiency range that is 100. Efficiency that is 100%. So wages paid that is fixed rate plus 20% of hourly rate because it is ultimately level number 3 but there is no extra incentives will be given to worker in level number 3. So this is what level number 3. So move forward to level number 4. Level number 4 that is over 100%. For example 120%, 130%, 105%. So 100 plus X percent. Efficiency is 100 plus X percent. Okay, so fixed rate will be given to worker plus 20% of hourly rate will be given to worker plus X percent of hourly rate will be given to worker. Okay, so here in level number 4, wages paid plus incentives plus extra incentives will be given to the worker. So this is what Immersion's Efficiency Plan. It is very important. Okay. So thank you, thank you very much. In this session, we have completed Immersion's Efficiency Plan, Rowan's Plan and Olse Incentive Plan. So in next session, we will start a new chapter that related to industrial legislation, industrial law. Thank you, thank you very much.